Hello everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with some amazing deals for you. It's been a while since you've heard that, huh? Actually, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube in general. So I have had some good, bad, 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 and ugly going on in my life. <laughs> so I am finally at a point to where I really feel that I am in a situation where I can film and try to help some of you save money for your families. I would love to introduce some different types of videos as well. So we'll see where this channel is going to go. And coming up soon, I am going to do a video where I'm going to get on camera, say hi to everybody. I know you've asked a lot of questions and I'm sorry that I haven't really responded. I just haven't been there and if any of you have dealt with any serious stuff I know that you can probably understand or at least have empathy and I do appreciate that so what are we looking at we see some clearance stickers now we're going to be looking at Walmart of course there are deals at CVS this week Target Walgreens Rite Aid uh, there's a lot of saturation on the internet right now with those types of videos great different types of videos available so please check those channels out however what I wanted to do was look at some clearance and see if maybe you can look out and find some of the same deals or even better deals now if you find a better deal the only caveat here is that you must share it with me so I can see what you found so I can be on the lookout Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. If you don't like to listen to me talk, which I don't like listening to me talk, here is going to be all of the information that I have listed. I want you to take a screenshot so you can exit out of the video if you would like. And here are the items that I ended up purchasing. So if you're wanting to look for those, you can go ahead and take a screenshot too. I know we're all busy, guys, and you may not have time for a 7 to 10 minute video, but I do like for everybody to at least, or I would like for everybody to at least remember we all started couponing and we all had to learn so anybody who is advanced or anybody who is new I want to help you all save money so uh, please excuse the longer videos but I want to help everybody but there's your options to screenshot and if there are any links that I mentioned in this video they'll be linked below so that way you can find those and not miss out either okay so we're just gonna go over a few little items here so we're gonna look at possible deals at one Walmart. Don't be afraid to coupon at Walmart. Walmart's a great place to coupon at, but remember your coupon limitations. If it says limit of four per household per day, if you try to use 10, don't get surprised that you have a problem there. Now, sometimes when you're couponing at Walmart or anywhere, someone may say, well, it doesn't show this exact same item on the coupon. The picture is not this. However, the coupon says on any cover girl face product or foundation. Now, I'm not quoting that verbatim. I'm just using that as an option. So remember, read your coupons, be familiar with your coupons and how to use them appropriately. And also the trial travel size limitations as well. So just remember to read your coupons so that way you can have an easier transaction. Will there be bad days with couponing? Yes, but if you can save 95 or $100 dollars in 20 minutes is it worth it mm, probably so okay so remember that your store may not have the same items but it's definitely worth a try so go ahead and look in your store to see if you can find these same items you may not find them but guess what you may actually find other items that you can use and save money on now there is something at Walmart, it's called overages. So Walmart allows overages per their coupon policy. So what that means is if this item costs $2, however, I had a $3 coupon, Walmart is going to give me that three or that $1 difference. Well, why would they do that? We're using coupons. We're getting items for free. No, no, no. We are using currency. The currency we're using is in the form of a coupon. And what's going to happen is as long as the coupon is used correctly, the company is going to be re re reimbursed the face value or the price of the coupon. So if the coupon is $3, they're reimbursed the $3. Plus, they're actually going to receive an allotment or an amount for the postage. 
so it actually can be relatively lucrative, but companies do lose money by misuse, so we need to keep that in mind. Now, you may want to go ahead and read that coupon policy. You can go to Safari or Google, just type in Walmart coupon policy, and you can find that there. And just as a courtesy, I'll link it below for you, so you can have that available. Now, sometimes people don't like giving you money because you're going in, getting $100 worth of free stuff, and then now they're hand up in to hand you 50, 60 bucks. So here's a way to really kind of avoid that type of a problem. What I like to do, and I remember I had some overages last year. It was about $400. I ended up buying uh, tires for the car. So it was a really great deal. And I ended up donating those items that I had purchased as well. Uh, so what ended up happening was, is in that event of an overage, you can apply it to a gift card. So say that you know you have a $10 overage, grab a gift card, inform the, the cashier that you want to buy a $10 gift card. So you want $10 added onto that gift card. So your overages that you have will then apply to that gift card for you. Now, in addition to that, there are some times that we have a hard time saving money on produce or, or if you're pescatarian, you're vegan, vegetarian, or you want to buy meat or whatever it is, or you need to buy clothes for the children children or shoes. What you can do is go ahead, grab you your filler items, whatever it may be, and go ahead and add those. So if you know you have an additional $5 and you know that you're wanting to buy some uh, Boca burgers or something of that nature, go ahead and buy you that to that amount. You may end up having to spend an extra buck or whatever, depending on the cost, or you may end up getting it absolutely for free there. So use your filler items, just do your math prior to going to the register. Remember, whenever they have to hand you money back, they're going to have to have a manager's approval to come over to that. Uh, if they are not having to hand you any money back, they do not have to go that route. Okay, so there are other freebies at different stores, as mentioned, and one of the things I'm going to tell you is that with the CoverGirl Eye, the $2 coupon, if you want to buy more of the little eyeliners or eyebrow fillers, the two packs, you can get those as a money maker. They're great things to donate, um, but if you're wanting to go ahead and try some different items, either for yourself or to donate, you can also look this route as well, but there are other freebies. These are just what I decided to get. Now, coupons are regional. So, there is a great site. It's CapriceCoupons.com. So, she has all the different regional types of coupons. So, if you're looking for different regional coupons, there's CapriceCoupons.com. If you're wanting to see if you have those coupons in your region, I'll link that below so you can find that as well. Um, and in addition to that, if you're looking for a coupon, say that you're in Walmart and you found this right here at $2 and you're wondering, is there a coupon? You could go to southernsavers.com coupon database, which I'll also link for you as well. Uh, so that way you can check and see. I do not spend my time with a binder. I don't have the time to do the binder system. It's a beautiful system. I just don't use it because I don't use all of the coupons and then having to throw coupons away, etc. So I use a different um, pro uh, process, and I'll link my process below for you as well. So here are the coupons I use. I use the CoverGirl Face Coupon, the CoverGirl Eye Coupon for $2. Uh, look out for CoverGirl, G-I-R. That should be girl <laughs> lip product items. The All May coupon, $3 off of one. There are some limits like trial size, etc. The Revlon Face for $3. The Revlon Lip for $2. Now, all of these were found in 224. There were three different inserts. I wanted to do this so that way if you're new to coupon and you don't and you may not have all of the different inserts, at least you could probably have this one. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've ended up purchasing two of the Revlon Photo Ready Foundations, regular retail $13.97 for a total of $27.94 on sale for $4 each. For a total of $8, I used two coupons at $3 each for a total of $6 off with a $2 loss. So here are the items. So as we see the Insta, Insta filter and this this is in 410 as we see 1397 for four dollars and then I have the 450 now if you're wondering here and you're probably thinking okay well this may not be my complexion you know you may want to use a contour or always remember there are people going through natural disasters they may lose everything there are women who are in uh, domestic battery shelters uh, so they may need these types of items going ahead job searching things of that nature so there's always something you can put to good 
use. Also think about Hanukkah, uh, Christmas, birthdays, gifts, you can go ahead and get set up there. So don't ever overlook something and a way to make somebody smile. Okay, so the Cover Girl Brow Fill and Shape and Define regular retail at $8.94 on sale for $2. I used one coupon for $2, making it free. It was this item right here, and it was in soft blonde. Now I ended up getting the Cover Girl Brow Shape Plus Define regular retail $6.94 on sale for $2, one coupon for $2, making it free. It is this item right here. And it actually has a spoolie in it, so you can brush it into the fibers or your hair. So I ended up getting this, and I tried one of them. I have it open. I think it's a pretty good product. Be careful. You have to let it sit in your brows, and then you pull it off as the hair grows so you don't go against the grain. But I lost some eyebrows, but it did do a wonderful job at tinting my actual eyebrows. So I really did enjoy that. My only concern was the brow loss that I suffered because I don't really have a lot of brows. Uh, but anyways, it's the All May Brow Lives On regular retail, $8.97 each for a total of $17.94. It was on sale for $3 each, so that would make it $6. I used two coupons at $3 each for a total of $6 off, making it free. So this is the item here. And as we see, you're gonna go ahead and paint it. Please be careful when you paint it. Keep some Q-tips with you to go ahead and make sure that you do it the way you like it. You're going to leave it on, you're going to let it dry, then you're going to peel, and then you're going to see that it's going to tint. So as we see, it was $8.97. I did use one. I used the color Auburn. That worked really good for me. I believe there is a, I can't remember how many, but I saw a lighter blonde and like a medium. So there could be some different colors as well. So I ended up getting two of the Cover Girl Foundations. The regular retail was, uh, excuse me, $9.98 each. So a total of $19.96 on sale for $2 each for a total of $4. I used two of the $2 off coupons for a total of $4 off, making it free. So here is the first one in color number 765 and 765. So there are the two items. Now, I ended up getting two Revlon bombs. So, one was a matte and one was a really beautiful metallic. So, the regular retail was $6.94 each for a total of $13.68 on sale for $2 each, making a total of $4. I used two of the two, $2 off coupons for a total of $4 off, making them free. So, as we see, isn't this just a gorgeous color here? So, we have the matte here. And as we see, it was $6.84. And then we also have here the same price, but it is going to be more of the metallic color. Uh, really, really beautiful. So absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the regular retail for the entire trip was $94.40. I had a loss of $2, and that was for this right here, the Insta filter, but... I am perfectly fine with a loss of $2, and I had a total of savings of $93.40. I only had to cut two, four, six, eight, ten 10 coupons, so that took me about less than a minute. My shopping ended up taking me about 10 minutes, so my checkout, maybe five minutes. So let's just say in less than 20 minutes, I saved $93.40. That would be a great part-time job, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I hope to see you all soon, and I will be doing a video where I come on camera very soon to see you all. Thank you so much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.